you glowing guys and gals out there today we're doing a little bit more redstone so now today I have made the executive decision to start um, I guess you could say a dictionary of sorts a dictionary of redstone if you will um, and my goal with this series is to reach out and help as many people as I can so if you have a friend or anyone that wants to learn just a, just that little bit more about redstone um, if you wanna point them to this video you don't have to obviously but if you feel that this would like that this uh, video or series would help in their learning process then please uh, feel free uh, to tell them about it share it um, so I'm gonna get directly into the video uh, which is all about as you can see in my hotbar redstone dust which is pretty much the most important thing you can possibly have in redstone it's like it's the bread and butter of redstone if you don't have redstone dust you don't have a redstone contraption you, there's not many things you can make without redstone dust it's very important obviously it comes straight from redstone ore uh, you can mine it with a fortune pickaxe and get um, butt loads of it uh, and I'm just gonna get started oops knocked my microphone there so redstone currents can travel up to 15 meters I think meters right yeah it's one by one so it can travel up to 15 meters and it'll stop at 16 as you can see here I put an extra spot just to show you that this one is not on you can see these ones have particles that they're emitting this one does not and is therefore not powered and won't be of any real use um, now there's many ways to get this effect of well redstone being on you can use a lever obviously now it's off now it's on you can use this to get that effect. You can use a wooden button or any kind of button, really. Uh, you can use a redstone torch, which is just a stick and redstone dust um, in the shape of just a normal torch. But you replace coal with redstone. Uh, you can use it. Uh, you can use a pressure plate. Sorry. Uh, to get that, you can get, you can use just a block of redstone. You can use actually a lectern which actually it measures what page so if you look at this redstone line here you can see that as I slowly decrease what number page I'm on the redstone gets duller or dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it's only at one block this one's not on so it depends upon Oops, sorry, it turns subtraction on. Uh, but it depends upon how many pages you have in your book, I believe. Uh, trapped chests, obviously, they emit redstone as well. So you can see, when it's open, redstone will activate. Uh, now, obviously, the repeater can also carry. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, the repeater can also carry redstone current through. Uh, let me get my redstone dust back. Okay, trip wires can also. So if you put true trip wire hooks on, kind of parallel to each other, and you put string in the middle, and once anything steps on that string, redstone. Um, the target block can emit redstone. Now this is actually very interesting. Now if you're all the way on the edge and you miss the target pretty much completely, as you can see, I barely got anything there. Now, if I go a little bit closer, but still not in the bullseye, I get quite a bit of redstone current, or quite a quite a bit of redstone. And if I if I put it pretty much right in the bullseye, oops, hold on. As you can tell, I'm not a good bowsman. There, gives me quite a bit. Now, the oh, perfect. It's pretty much midnight right now. A little bit past, maybe maybe 1 a.m. If I turn the daylight sensor to night, it'll give me quite a strong current. 
Now, these little devices are actually very interesting. If you turn it to day, obviously it's going to give me nothing because it's night. But if I turn it to ni uh, night, obviously it's going to give me something. However, the way this works is the higher whatever it is the sun or moon is in the sky so if it's midday or midnight it's gonna give you the strongest current of the day and if the moon goes down to here I'm gonna get less and as the as the moon sinks I'm gonna get less and less and less until the sun comes up gets around here I think that it's gonna give me nothing essentially nothing uh, redstone or not redstone hopper clocks can also be used or just hoppers this is a hopper clock so each of these hoppers feeds into one another so this one if I put an item in this one's gonna take this hopper here is gonna take the item but then this hopper is gonna take the item back and it's gonna switch between which hopper has it and it will create a clock effect like so I just put that here so you can see that it is powered, just in case it's too dark. Uh, but also, these little observer blocks here are also very interesting. They can sense block updates. So, for instance, if sand suddenly falls, it'll activate. If it senses a block uh, being placed there or being taken away from there, it'll activate, as you can see here. This also works for plants growing, so this can be extremely, extremely, extremely useful when making an automatic farm, because this will tell you, or not tell you, but it'll activate when it senses something growing. Um, now, we're going to go over here, back to this weird thing over here that you saw. I have a redstone torch down here, a block right above the redstone torch, and a piece of redstone that's somehow powered. Now, this power is actually coming from the redstone torch, but it's not touching the redstone. Now, the interesting thing about this is some uh, redstone components, such as the redstone torch or um, a repeater, um, those some of the components like those can actually hard power a block, which means, obviously, Redstone dust can get a signal, which is pretty useful for going up, like this creation here I made. Um, so this is essentially a redstone elevator. What this does is it puts power into this block, which turns off the uh, redstone torch here, which stops the power here, which lets this one turn on, which powers this block, etc., 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 all the way up to this. Now, if I take my bow and I shoot this target, boom, and it'll kind of flash for a second. Obviously, it's a target block, so it's not going to stay on. Boom. So that is how you can get um, a contraption to work that needs redstone to go up quickly and efficiently. You can just use these, like so. Um, I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. But that's the only way I know, if I'm, if I'm being honest, that's the only way I know. Um, obviously, wasn't redstone dust, but I thought I'd put it in this video anyways. Uh, so if there's anything... Oh! I was about to say if there's anything I missed, I just realized there is something I missed. Bow and arrows are actually incredibly useful, as well, in other ways. Now, bows... Or no, not bows, but the arrows shot from bows can actually hold down buttons, wooden buttons, not stone buttons or iron buttons or gold buttons, but only wooden, any kind of the wooden buttons uh, can be held down by arrows until they despawn or are picked up. Now, it's actually the same thing with the pressure plate. Not many people actually know that, but the pressure plate can also be held down by arrows. And then, same thing with the tripwire. I almost skipped this, but I caught myself in time. Now, what I was going to say before I caught myself there was, if you liked this video, give it a like, and if you didn't like this video,
hit that dislike button for me. And if you really like this video and you want to see more like this, or you want to support my channel, which is the size of an atom, <laughs> click the subscribe button. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time without any hassle. You just click the button again, and you're unsubscribed. Um, if you want to receive notifications on your device when I upload, you can click the notification bell next to the subscribe button once you subscribe, and you can click all, personalized or none, depending upon what you would like. And with that out of the way, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. And of course, stay awesome.